Hello everyone, welcome, of course, glad you're here. So now that the Animal Farm is now open and been open for a few days here, I am digging in and giving it a few days. I want to see what things are looking like. And I'm gonna give an overview of how it works, the mechanics of V2 as it is with the current tokenomics and all the taxes that are on every single angle you could think of. And we're gonna go over some math to say, is it or is it not worth it? And break down for you how this works and what I think are some good strategies of how to play this. Because if you play it the way it's designed, I'm gonna show you how that looks and then give you some, of course, some other alternatives because a lot of others are giving you some information. I feel why not give you some good, hard hitting facts and information, what you should see, and again, what you're not gonna get elsewhere. But of course, number one, before we do, thank you to each and every one of you here. And you know what? I appreciate people who subscribe. I appreciate people who watch these videos because they want to get some hard hitting, no nonsense, just logical information, not the dumb shillers, not the crazy 100x and all the stuff we keep hearing about. What I need you to do, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment. I want to know what you have to say. But if you're going to be one of the maxis occulties because of the fact that I give real information and, and you're going to say something else, save your breath. Don't waste your time. I, I don't even want to hear it. I don't care. But if you want to ask a real question, you want to know some information, I would love to hear from you. And also join the Telegram group because we have a great group of people in there. We talk about some great information. There's some really intelligent people, some really good traders. People have good perspectives. And if you really want to have a good perspective and not because you asked a question about the dog's PCS 90% tax, Forex said, you're going to be banned. Don't ask a question. It's FUD. He's banning you for life. So if you're sick and tired of being banned and kicked out because you ask a question, Give us a like, share, subscribe, and now without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so let's look at some of the pricing here. So we have the pig's price here at $116.34. We have the dog's price here at $53.35. Um, they came out with $46, $47. So they've had, I don't know, a little bit of, you know, a little increase. Somebody's talking about, oh, yeah, these new tokenomics, dogs. Everybody's going to be buying dogs. I don't know who's going to be buying dogs at a 90% tax. Anybody who's intelligent wouldn't do that. And then everybody's going to be jumping in farming dogs, um, you know, to earn them with their um, non-native tokens. I break down a great example. I'm going to show you here in a few minutes to go into some scenarios and show you what would happen if you put $1,000 in doing that. Or what if you just bought $1,000 of the highest, let's say here, of the dogs um, wrap BNB LP to earn pig. I'll give you a couple of scenarios here and break it down with taxes, how long it's gonna take you to ROI, how long it's gonna take you to break even, because remember, when you have dogs um, BUSD or the dogs BNB, when you have these LP pairs here, we're gonna skip drip. I mean, drip earns you 0.3% a day. There was supposed to be all this big hype. I'm just gonna, can't wait. And it's gonna stop drip from selling. Well. That's a whole another story for a whole another day, but I would say drips two days, maybe three days away from minting again, based on the current you know amount that was in the vault and how much is being pulled and how quickly. Because you're going to take drip that's earning one percent on a dropping token to them earn 03 percent of a token that has a ninety percent tax. You have to then take and then take that token. And deposit it to earn BNB only if people sell dogs or make an LP pair or add fresh BUSD to that on top of the BUSD to the drip to then earn pigs at a small percentage. And I'm going to show you all that. The whole thing doesn't make any sense. I'm going to show you it. I, I, obviously, I was what I was doing there was for a reason because when you start thinking like a logical person, you understand how little things make sense. So I'm going to break this all down. We're going to go into that because look. This was all supposed to pump for the pig's price, 116 The dog's price is supposed to go pump. So let's take a look. So drip on the main UI is at $4.65. I remember hearing last time I buy drip at $10, $9, $8, etc. Uh, but it keeps going down. So that's that. And then, of course, we have here on pancake swap, you know, the con continual decline of that. And then, of course, you have the pig's price. Now, the pig's price was about $180. Couple days before the launch, or the first delayed launch in three minutes, and then went all the way down here, 113. Came all the way down to 100 when we when it was there. So you have a token you're supposed to earn deposit in the pig pen that has this much fluctuation, 
And keep in mind, you have to keep it deposited for 50 days. And anytime you add more to it, and anytime you compound, your 50 day clock starts over. Who wants to be in this kind of roller coaster when your money's locked up for so long? So we're going to go into all that. I'm going to go to all the math. And at the end of the day, you're going to see if you think this is really worth or not worth it for your money and for your funds. So the first thing is we already know that there was that issue with um, the farm. So, of course, Forex and team had to add in here that you must add. Um, you must use our ad liquidity tool to avoid tax on adding AFD animal farm dogs liquidity. And because, of course, he said, there's no way it's a mistake. It didn't happen. Pancake swap. I whitelisted and blah, blah, blah. And you're an idiot. You're a retard and you're a moron and every other insult. I mean, isn't that the way to welcome in all the new investors, right? You spent all this money marketing and all this money, supposedly, anyway. I'm trying to bring in all these new investors to grow this yield and to grow, you know, bring in new assets. And these people should be brand new. They're probably going to jump into that Telegram group. They're going to jump in and start learning about the ecosystem and start seeing what's going on. And the main person is calling you an idiot, a moron. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, you're a retard and those other things because you did what was supposed to be done there and he made a mistake. And then afterwards, oh, yeah, we're going to try to make it right. And, yeah, we made a mistake. He never admits a mistake up front because he's perfect, right? Well, he's so perfect. Right here, if you take a look, it says APR 286, APR 344. This is wrong. You're looking at the wrong information. This is misleading. This is not correct. It is not correct. What is correct is if you click here and you look APY, these figures, which you're earning on the farm, because I've been tracking it with my own deposits, these are APYs. And this part here is accurate. So the farm is wrong. What you need to understand, again, is that APYs is what you're earning because I've been tracking it from my own deposits. You are not getting these, these are not APRs. So it's way less than this when you use a calculator. So I ran a scenario. I said, okay, great. So if that's the case, this is what I, something I put together. And this is a scenario of saying, what if someone went into this pool? So let's see here. So we go to the farms, okay? The highest yielding non-native farm is BNB BUSD at 391. So let's say 392 APY. This is wrong. Okay. So I have a little calculator thing here too. Okay. So 392 APY is about 170.4 APR. So 170%. So let's do some math here. One second. 70 Got to type in by here. I guess can't type it the way I want. Any point, let's say three, nine, two, five, six is rounded up. Divided by 365 days is an annual yield about 4.668. Okay, so this is how much you would earn a day of that. Okay, so you would earn 0.4668% a day in dogs. Okay. Okay, so someone pointed out that I had a mistake on one of these tags tabs down here the dogs bnb and i did have a mistake they were right did this late yesterday i had to do some iterations other stuff bottom line is i missed something it was an oversight so they are correct so i'm redoing this portion and adding it to the original part of the video because they were correct but it still is going to show a pretty decent amount of some stuff for the math that you can understand okay so now as we saw and we talked about before you have that thousand dollars in the bnb busd you're earning four dollars and 67 cents a day you're earning 0 0.0877 dogs a day so it's how much you earn day one day two, you know, cumulative. This is your cumulative added up, okay? So let's take this out over an entire year. So over a year, you would have earned um, 32.0267 of a dog. Now, I have to use prices that are fixed from when I was doing this because you have to do this in a vacuum. You know, we can't predict what price is going to go up and down. I personally think that as time goes on, uh, more people are actually going to sell their dogs or some stuff, possibly um, for the taxes come due, may or may not. Um, pigs is going to have a lot of volatility. But as you see this, um, you, you understand where I'm going to go with the price of pigs going forward and why V1 had dogs and pigs selling so much. Anyway, I don't want to keep this too long. So you're going to have about 32 dogs in a year. That's not bad, right? Okay, so you put in $1,000. 
And over a year, as long as everything's still going, the price is still roughly the same, you would have earned about 32 dogs at $52.20. Okay, cool. So now we're going to shoot over here. And we're going to say you earn this many dogs a day. And you're going to add fresh new BNB to make a dog's BNB pair because that's the highest two, that's the highest paying farm to earn pigs. You have possibilities of a permanent loss with the BNB and BUSD. So that may go down. You may earn less. You may go up. You may earn more. Same talk token here. You're adding fresh $4.67 a day of BNB to the dogs you, you can have a permanent loss based on where things go and where things move so again this is just that nothing ever moves but there's always that risk um with that so each day so first day one you you have nine dollars and 34 cents so at 0.41 percent a day is what the apy when it comes out to be daily for the amount of pigs you earn i'm using a pig's price of 117 dollars that is the pig's price that I use. Again, I know it's like 120 something right now. We're using in a vacuum. You're going to actually earn less pigs if the price goes up instead of more. You're going to see those fluctuations. And I think when you see this math, you're going to understand why the pigs are going to fluctuate so much. Now, remember, when you deposit your pigs into the pig pen, you're going to have a 50-day waiting period. You're only going to get 2% a day made available to you while this roller coaster is going on. And every time you add more, every time you compound, your 50-day clock resets and you only can get 2% out of what's in there um, daily. So that's something you have to also keep in mind. Those are all things you have to consider. So you get this much pigs in day one. The next day, you add another nine. So it's the part I had a mistake. This is cumulative now. It's showing 1868. So you earn this much pigs. Now 28. So it's cumulative, right? So it's going up. It's going up. So let's scroll down to a year. So, hey, all right. In one year, you have your initial $1,000 investment. If it's still worth the same 1000 You've added seventeen hundred new dollars to it, so now you're twenty seven hundred dollars in. But with your twenty seven hundred dollars that you've put in combined, you've earned twenty one point seven four two pigs. That's not bad in a year. That's okay. So so far things are moving. You know you might be making some profit, might have some income coming in. So you know we're just going to keep playing this game along with that thousand dollars. So the amount wow. of pigs you're earning a day are growing, and this here I use as a fifty percent. Um, annual APY. Now, I do understand that it's paying a higher APR currently, but that's only because of the big injection um, that Forex put in, which of course is pays out to the highest who have the most pigs, the ones who have the 31,200 pigs and other things of that nature. We get a higher distribution of that BUSD. However, the only way to keep the current APR that the pig pen is paying right now is to have $70,000 injected daily. So unless he has $2.1 million a month to put in month after month after month, just in the pig pen, that APR is not sustainable. So when it was before um, going normal, the way it was it was operating was like a 35% APY. So I think I'm being generous. I'm putting this as a 50% APY. So a little tweak here. So you can see, again, I'm going to make sure everything's tweaked. Everything's proper here the right way. So the first day you earn four cents in pigs. The next day you deposit this a pig's amount, you add here eight, so that uh, eight and four here. So it's not really eight, it was just rounding up. It's actually 11 cents. Um, so this is how much you earn there. The next day you earn this 11 cents with that 11. So together with rounding up is 23 cents. So the 23 cents of pigs now earns that much of a penny. So as you can see, if I scroll all the way down now to the bottom, over the course of one year, you would have earned $2,529 in pigs, which this matches, right? Because this is cumulative. This is the total. So this is matching. So here's the math, okay? And you decide and see why people think or, or should be in the pig pen, or do you believe people are going to be selling their pigs at pumps to be a better ROI than the pig pens paying you in BUSD? Remember, the whole point of this is to never sell any of your assets and only live off the BUSD. So you have to ask yourself. Um, so here's the pigs, and this is after the three and a half percent tax. So if you were to sell the pigs, all of them, at three and a half percent tax at the same flat rate, this is what you would have made in a year. Okay. So again, you put in a thousand dollars to start in that BNB BUSD farm. Um, now you have a lot of the factors to see here. Now this pigs each day cumulatively is adding a little bit more. It's earning in daily BUSD. So you would have earned over the course of one year. $341.67 in BUSD dividends. So would someone 
keep these pigs in the pig pen and after a year return themselves $341 or would they sell the pigs and get $2,500 after a year? What do you think most people are going to do? They think they're going to deposit it all and only take three forty one in BUSD, or they're going to sell the pigs to get twenty five hundred. Now, here's the factors involved. Okay, so if you sell the pigs, this is how much you get after taxes. Now, there are different transactions. So I'm going to explain something here. Okay, you have the transaction of claiming your daily earning of dogs. You have your making the new LP pair transaction. That's two adding the 467. You have depositing that amount to start earning pigs. That's three. You have the claiming of pigs. That's four. And then you have the depositing of pigs into the pig pen. That's five. So you have five transactions you're doing daily to keep moving along in this hypothetical situation, earn this 341 if you did this daily with that. So, five, so let's say 30 cents um, gas fees per transaction is an average to $1.50 a day. Over the course of a year, you would have spent $547.50. Now, real ROI means return on investment. That's what the acronym stands for. What is your return on the money you put at risk and you put out there? Because there's impermanent loss. You have the taxes on the dogs. You have the 6% tax when you break up the LP pairs and all that kind of stuff if you wanted to know what your return is. So at the end of a year, you would have spent five forty-seven in gas. You would have had your initial deposit of a thousand dollars, and you would have made new deposits of seventeen hundred dollars. So this is how much you would have put in after one year, and with your gas fees, how much you would have in one year's time. This would have been your total total amount in this scenario. And by putting up thirty-two hundred forty-seven dollars in return, you will either have received twenty-five hundred in pigs, which will get twenty-four hundred. Um, after taxes, or for putting this up, three twenty four forty seven, you would have earned three forty one sixty seven in the pig pen. So if you're doing things the way that Forex asks you to do, three forty one point six seven divided by three two four seven point three eight, your true ROI for one year is ten percent. Okay, that is your true ROI. Okay, ROI you take equals this divided by this 10%, okay? That is what you have would re receive if you play the farm the way Forex asks you to. So basically, you're getting a 10% return with all the possibilities of impermanent loss, fluctuations in value, everything else. So the, so, so the fact of the matter is you decide what you want to do, but would you basically... Do you feel it's a good investment over a whole year with so many uncertainties, so much we don't know about for this scenario? This is why I personally don't believe that pigs prices are going to stay high or ever get too high. People are going to, in my opinion, looking at this here, people are going to be selling the pigs, not putting it in the in the pig pen for BUSD. I know they try to close all the loopholes, make things so that money never leaves the farm, but unless... Is going to add some ridiculous 90% tax to the pigs. I don't see how there's any way. Mo That's why people keep dumping them. That's why pigs keep going down and having these fluctuations. People are using the pigs, trading it up and down, as they see is really the only way to probably make some good swings and profits in this farm. Let's say you don't do this scenario. Let's say you don't want to make only 10% true ROI on your investment over a year. But let's just say you go, okay, forget it. I'm just going to take and put $1,000 straight into the dog's BNB, I'm not even going to do the non-native. I'm just going to take the plunge. So I'm going to put $500 into dogs, which I know have a 90% tax, and I know it will not go down. It's only going to go down 2% a month for my wallet loyalty score, because since they're not in the dog pound, they don't get reduced um, at all as LPs. Okay. And then you put $500 a fresh BNB, which again, the whole impermanent loss, I already discussed that. So that daily, this is how many pigs you earn a day. This is how many pigs you'll get cumulative. Okay. Cumulative, cumulative. So each day, as you keep, you know, getting more, um, you know, it's adding how many, you know, you're leaving a thousand, you're doing nothing but claiming every day your pigs. And this is how many pigs you're earning cumulative over time. So the question is, how long would it take you to ROI in this scenario? It would take you roughly about four months. You would have to be involved for four months and hope you don't have a permanent loss with your BNB or your dogs, whatever the case may be. Um, someone to put, well, so what? If I can ROI in four months, why would I ever want to sell? So you have all those other factors, things involved. So the thing here is that you would have earned about 
four pigs. Now, this is only an ROI if you sold these pigs. Remember, if you're taking these pigs and you're putting them into the pig pen over 114 days, let's say in this scenario here, um, 0.03, I mean, I, I haven't figured it out, but it's not going to be much in, in BUSD over four months. I mean, in this scenario, you were getting even more daily, but you can see the amount going up of pigs, whereas this one's staying flat, so it's just slightly going up. And in 114 days, it had earned, if I just go like this, some $10. So you would have earned $10 over four months in BUSD dividends doing this scenario, or you have four pigs worth 117 which is basically $468, which makes you break even for the taxes on the dog's LP. That's a true ROI at that point. So again, the math just shows that you can do this too. If you want to be in it and wait four months just to be at a technical break even on your investment, that's your choice. But I just see a lot of pressure. I see a lot of people selling the dogs. That's what happened in V1. That's why you put the 90% tax. People are like, well, I'm farming for these dogs, these reward token, and they weren't earning me that much. So people were dumping on the market because it was only 6% tax. So, of course, he closed that loophole, and he has a 6% tax even on breaking up the LP of the dogs. That's why he switched BU, drip BUSD to earn dogs instead of pigs because he knew if he left it as pigs, even though it's only 0.3%, people were going to be dumping the pigs. are going to have the same scenario because the pigs and the dogs combined each have a portion in the dynamic emissions control, whatever the hell that thing is called, based on how much the emissions are and whether you're deflationary, whether you're inflationary, whether whatever all the four levels are. So I see this being as a bank run and, and a lot of pressure within probably everybody's making price predictions. Everybody has their predictions of five, 10 X here, four X there, thousand this, pigs at a thousand dollars, dogs at a thousand dollars. So my prediction because everybody else is making one, why shouldn't I have something? Is I think by the end of January, there's going to be a big bank run on the TVL of the farm. I don't see a lot of new money coming in. When new money does come in, the word's going to get out that why would you put new money in with 90% tax? I don't understand it. We already see what's going on here. I don't think Scratchies is going to be that much of a savior. You see Drip already is almost in the low fours now. Um, it's probably going to lose four. Drip should probably today or tomorrow start minting again. There's just too much pressure in this ecosystem, there's too much bloat, there's too much inflation, these tokens inflate. So again, I think by the end of January, that they're going to see a, a bank run, and you're going to start seeing by I'm not saying up to the I think by then, it might even happen sooner, of course, but I think over, let's say that amount of time, there's gonna be a lot of pressure, a lot of bank run, a lot of people looking to get out and pull out. And I just see this good. I just don't see this working out really well long term, even though I showed a one year scenario. So you believe what you want, you do what you want because it's your money, it's your choice, but I hope you found value here. If you did, please do me a favor, give me a comment, like the video, subscribe, love to hear from you. Let's see for the algorithm. I updated the math, so now the math is more accurate. So thanks for those who said that. Also, if you want to join the Telegram group, please definitely join the Telegram group. We'd love to have you there and chat and go over other scenarios. I wish you the best. I hope you have a great weekend. And of course, as always, here is to your success.